transient ischemic attack another name is mini stroke this is a temporary phase that is why we call it the transient it is affecting a part of the brain there is a blockage of the artery of the of the brain and this is giving that symptom according to the part of the brain is involved but to remember that it's not affecting the whole part of the brain so there is no loss of the consciousness if the patient is having loss of the consciousness most likely it is not a TIA so how long it persists practically speaking it is minutes it is not go for the hours but according to definition it is less than 24 hour if the patient is having the symptom that is persist for less than 24 hour and then he get recovered then we call it is TIA so as we know the according to definition it is 24 hour or less since it does not cause permanent damage it might seem like no big deal but ignoring it is a big mistake that because TIA may signal a full-blown stroke ahead so it can be a warning sign let us talk about the different type of the TIA according to different territory of the brain is involved such as if the carotid is involved what is happening that is affecting the anterior part of the brain what we call the anterior circulation sometime it is also vertebro bacillary what we call the posterior circulation is affected so it is affecting the posterior part of the brain that is mostly cerebellar and also its affect the different cranial nerve then we will also talk about the origin also sometimes there is a plaque formation in the carotid artery and that is leading to this type of a stroke from uh, TIA formation so in that case we have to do some maneuver for the carotid artery first we have to confirm by doing ultrasound and then we have to intervene but sometimes it's also the origin is from the heart so we have to not to ignore the heart also we have to look is the if the patient is having AF valvular heart disease and some other kind of the arrhythmia then we have to treat that and and that uh, that time we also have to give the patients heparin or may need warfarin also for the long-term treatment so now we will talk about the the different symptoms depending on the location of the clot so if it is we can divide it in either it is anterior circulation or it can be posterior circulation in the anterior circulation there are carotid artery anterior cerebral artery middle cerebral artery in all of this there will be sensory and uh, um, uh, motor weakness can be there but it is mostly contralateral if we talk about anterior cerebral artery it is mostly affect the leg more uh, um, uh, uh, more prominently than the arms and in the middle cerebral artery face and arm is more prominent, predominantly affected right and also in the carotid we can get also transient is uh, transient blindness that is affecting one eye then we will talk about the posterior circulation in the posterior circulation the posterior cerebral artery and that is uh, uh, causing also sensory loss but to remember that is all cause uh, ipsilateral visual field loss but above that is contralateral and uh, there can be also dysarthria dysphagia diplopia quadriparesis can be also there and we talk about the vertebro bacillary and we have talked that it can affect the cerebellar so you, you can have ataxia and other dysfunction and the cranial nerve is also involved from 3 to 12 depending on which cranial nerve involved you have the different symptom there can be also confusion so also lead to diplopia bilateral limb weakness bilateral paresthesis slur speech and vertigo these all are the symptoms so now we have to stratify that uh, what to do if the patient is having the TIA so we have to do the ABCD2 score in which if the score is up to 3 we can discharge the patients make an appointment in the TIA clinic but if it is more than 4 4 or more than 4 you have to admit that the patient it is the age uh, B is blood pressure, C is clinical feature, if the weakness 2 and if only a speech disturbance only 1 and also the duration if it is more than 60 you have to give the 2 points if 10 to 59 1 and less than 10 is 0 and the diabetes also having 1 point so you have to assess that where the patient is 
so what you will do if the patient is having a uh, ABCD score of 3 I already said that we have to discharge but we have to put the patient on the aspirin 300 mg daily okay and then later management is blood pressure and cholesterol monitoring we start with the simvastatin or atorvastatin uh, and also monitor the blood uh, good control of the blood also important and also uh, we can start on dipyridamol 200 mg twice daily and then about the lifestyle it is very important not to drive the vehicles for one month and to stop smoking also and to cut alcohol healthy diet loss of weight and exercise these are also important so uh, if you like then make your give your liking and if you want you can also subscribe me thank you very much